In this class, you will learn more about supine poses. You have already encountered some of these postures in previous practices. Supine postures are those in which you are lying down, face up, on your back. These postures involve both stretches as well as strengthening exercises for the back and the core. Supine postures are usually practiced at the end of a yoga class as part of a cool-down sequence and are followed by relaxation or meditation practice. Before we begin, I will cover some important health and safety information that you should know. Before beginning this or any other exercise program, you should consult with a physician to make sure that practicing yoga is appropriate for you. If you have high or low blood pressure, spinal problems, or any other medical conditions or injuries, consult with your doctor to see if any modifications are necessary for your practice. If you are pregnant, you should be in a prenatal yoga class. If during the practice you feel any pain or discomfort, you can return to supine bent knees or come into Shavasana. You should avoid this pose until a physician can be consulted to make sure that it is appropriate for you. Be safe and enjoy your practice. Now let's begin. Supine bent knees. Lie down on your back with your knees bent and the soles of your feet flat to the mat. Your knees should be pointing up towards the sky with your knees and feet about hip distance apart. Rest your arms by your sides with the palms facing down. Gaze up towards the ceiling. One-legged wind relieving pose. Ika Pada Pavana Muktasana. Engage your core. Exhale, then inhale and start to lift your left foot off the mat and draw your left knee in towards your chest. Reach up and clasp your hands around your bent knee. Then relax back and pull the knee in towards your chest. Extend the right leg straight out in front of you bringing the back of the leg flat to the mat. Flex the feet and point the toes. Keep your shoulders, neck, and head down to the mat and the neck aligned with the spine. Gaze straight up towards the ceiling. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Relax your hips, glutes, and thighs. Exhale and engage your core, drawing the navel in towards the spine. Then take a deep inhale and pull the knee in towards your chest. Exhale and relax. Inhale. Exhale and lower your left foot back down to the mat. Then inhale and bend the knee of your right leg 
and bring the sole of the foot flat to the mat. Coming into supine bent knees. Your knees and feet should be about hip distance apart. Your hands by your sides with the palms facing down. Gaze up towards the ceiling. One legged wind relieving. Other side. Engage your core. Exhale. Then inhale. And start to lift your right foot off the mat and draw your right knee in towards your chest. Reach up and clasp your hands around your bent knee. Then relax back and pull the knee in towards your chest. Extend the left leg straight out in front of you, bringing the back of the leg flat to the mat. Flex the feet and point the toes. Keep your shoulders, neck, and head down to the mat and the neck aligned with the spine. Gaze straight up towards the ceiling. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Relax your hips, glutes, and thighs. Exhale and engage your core drawing the navel in towards the spine. Then take a deep inhale and pull the knee in towards your chest. Exhale and relax. Inhale. Exhale and lower your right foot back down to the mat. Then inhale and bend the knee of your left leg and bring the sole of your foot flat to the mat, coming into supine bent knees. Your knees and feet should be about hip distance apart. Your hands by your sides with the palms facing down. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Bridge pose. Setu Banda Sarvangasana. Walk your feet back closer to your buttocks so that your knees are stacked over your ankles. Ground down into your feet by pressing them evenly into the mat. Exhale, engage your core and the backs of your thighs. Then inhale and lift your hips up off the mat. Arch your back and draw the shoulder blades together, sliding the arms inward so that the upper arms are beneath the shoulder blades and the hands are under your hips. Keep your neck and shoulders flat on the mat and your neck in line with the spine. Keep pressing up through the heels to lift your hips higher. Gaze up towards the ceiling or down the nose towards the navel. Walk the arms out from under you, placing them by your sides. Then exhale and slowly lower the hips back down to supine bent knees. Keep your knees bent and pointing to the sky and adjust your legs so that the knees and feet our hip distance apart. Turn the palms face down. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Wind relieving pose. Pavana Muktasana. Exhale and engage your core. Then inhale and raise your knees up towards your chest. Your feet lifting up off the floor. Your thighs should come to rest against your chest. Keep your legs squeezed together and mildly point the toes. Exhale. Inhale and bring your hands up to hold your knees. Then exhale. Relax back and hug your knees in towards your chest. Keep your shoulders, neck and head down to the mat and the neck aligned with the spine. 
Continue to gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale and lower your feet back down to the mat or supine bent knees. The soles of the feet coming flat to the floor with your knees bent and pointing towards the sky. Your knees and feet should be about hip distance apart. Your hands by your sides with the palms facing down. Keep the gaze upward. Bound bridge pose. Set to Banda Sarvangasana. Walk your feet back closer to your buttocks so that your knees are stacked over your ankles. Ground down into your feet by pressing them evenly into the mat. Exhale, engage your core and the backs of your thighs. Then inhale and lift your hips up off the mat. Arch your back and draw the shoulder blades together, sliding the arms inward so that the upper arms are beneath the shoulder blades and the hands are under your hips. You can stay here or start to draw the shoulder blades under and walk the hands towards each other, interlacing the fingers. Keep pressing up through the heels to lift your hips higher. Gaze up towards the ceiling or down the nose towards the navel. Release the bind and walk the arms out from under you, placing them by your sides. Then exhale and slowly lower the hips back down to supine bent knees. Keep your knees bent and pointing to the sky and adjust your legs so that your knees and feet are hip distance apart. Turn the palms face down Gaze up towards the ceiling. Now back to wind relieving pose. Exhale and engage your core. Then inhale and raise your knees up towards your chest. Keep your legs squeezed together and mildly point the toes. Exhale. Inhale and bring your hands up to hold your knees. Exhale, relax back and hug your knees in towards your chest. Continue to gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale and lower your feet back down to the mat. The soles of your feet coming flat to the floor with your knees bent and pointing towards the sky. Your knees and feet should be about hip distance apart. Your hands by your sides with the palms facing down. Keep the gaze upward. And one more round. Bound bridge pose. Set to Banda Sarvangasana. Walk your feet back closer to your buttocks so that your knees are stacked over your ankles. Brown down into your feet by pressing them evenly into the mat. Exhale, engage your core and the backs of your thighs. Then inhale and lift your hips up off the mat. Arch your back and draw your shoulder blades together, sliding the arms beneath you. Keep your neck and shoulders flat on the mat. Start to walk the hands towards each other and interlace the fingers. Keep pressing up through the heels to lift your hips higher. Now release the bind and walk the arms out from under you, placing them by your sides. Then exhale and slowly lower the hips back down to supine bent knees. Keep your knees bent and pointing to the sky and adjust your legs so that your knees and feet are hip distance apart. Turn the palms face down. Gaze up towards the ceiling. 
supine bound angle, supta bada konasana. Bring the soles of the feet together and open the knees out wide to the sides. Try to rotate your inner thighs outward, pressing the outer thighs away from each other and bringing the knees closer to the mat without forcing them down to the floor. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Gaze straight up towards the ceiling or close your eyes. Relax your face. Relax your jaw. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Relax the inner thighs, the glutes, and the groins, allowing the knees to open wider. Inhale and close your knees together, coming back to supine bent knees. Keep your knees bent and pointing to the sky, your knees and feet about hip distance apart, and the soles of your feet flat to the mat. Rest your hands by your sides with the palms facing down, gaze up towards the ceiling. Wind Relieving Pose, Pavana Muktasana. Exhale and engage your core. Then inhale and raise your knees up towards your chest. Keep your legs squeezed together and mildly point the toes. Exhale. Inhale and bring your hands up to hold your knees. Exhale. Relax back and hug your knees in towards your chest. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Extended leg lift, Urdhva Prasarita Padasana. Inhale, exhale and straighten your legs as you bend from the hips to lift your legs up into a 90 degree angle with the feet, ankles, and knees align directly over your hips. Engage your core for balance. Point or flex the toes and open the palms out to the sides, face up towards the ceiling and slightly away from the body. Continue to gaze up towards the ceiling. Plow pose, alasana. Flip your hands over so that your palms are face down to the mat. Inhale, press down through the hands and engage your abdominal and back muscles to lift your hips and lower back up and off the mat. Draw your back up and draw your navel in towards the spine to engage your core. Extend your legs straight up and over your head with the hips over the shoulders. Then slowly bring the feet down to rest on the floor behind the crown of your head. If you are unable to bring your feet all the way down to the mat, you can bring them to rest against a wall, on a chair, or on a block for more support. Your toes should be tucked Resting on the balls of your feet, press down through the toes to root your feet to the mat. Keep the weight evenly distributed in your upper back and shoulders and your arms and shoulders rooted to the mat. Keep the chest open, the chin slightly tucked and the shoulder blades broad. You can leave your hands flat on the mat or bring them up to your lower back for more support. Release the hands back down by your sides and start to roll the spine back down to the mat, 
vertebrae by vertebrae as you exhale. Lift the legs back up and overhead. Then bend the knees and bring the thighs towards the chest. And using the gravity of your descent as momentum, roll up into staff bent knees. Sit with your knees bent and the soles of your feet flat to the floor. Keep your feet and knees about hip distance apart. Place your hands by your hips. Press through your sit bones and lengthen your spine. Draw your shoulder blades down and back. Gaze forward. Now scoot back, bringing your hips to the center of your mat to allow more room for your legs to extend into Shavasana. Supine, bent knees. Inhale, raise your arms up so they are parallel to the floor with your hands by your knees or place your hands behind your hips with your fingers pointing towards your glutes. Then exhale and slowly lower yourself down and back into a supine position, lowering one vertebrae at a time. Keep your knees bent and pointing to the sky, your knees and feet hip distance apart and rest your hands by your sides with the palms facing down. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Happy baby, Ananda Balasana. Exhale and engage your core. Inhale and lift your knees towards your chest, the feet coming up off the mat. Separate the knees wide while keeping your big toes touching. Then lift the head and shoulders and reach up between the knees to grab the outside edges of the feet. Exhale and relax back, continuing to lift the feet to bring the thighs to your chest and your knees to your armpits. Your arms should be in front or on the outside of your knees and shins. The soles of your feet should be facing the sky with the toes flexed back. Keep your shoulder blades flat on the mat and your head and neck flat on the mat and aligned with the spine. Inhale, exhale, and gently pull down on the legs. Continue to gaze up towards the ceiling and breathe into the center of your abdomen. Exhale and release the feet, then draw the legs together and lower the feet back down to the mat, the soles of the feet coming flat to the floor, with your knees bent and pointing towards the sky. Your knees and feet should be about hip distance apart. Your hands should be by your sides with the palms facing down. Keep the gaze turned up towards the ceiling. Wind relieving pose. Exhale and engage your core. Then inhale and raise your knees up towards your chest. Keep your legs squeezed together and mildly point the toes. Exhale. Inhale and bring your hands up to hold your knees. Exhale, relax back, and hug your knees in towards your chest. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Supine twist, Jatara Parivartanasana. Exhale, and roll to the left side. The outside of your left leg should be resting on the mat. Your hips, knees, and feet stacked over each other and your legs in an L shape at about a 90 degree angle. You can either point or flex your feet. 
Extend your left arm out to the side, straight out in front of you with the palm facing up. And stack your right arm directly over your left with the palm facing down. Gaze straight ahead towards the side of the mat. Then inhale and sweep the right arm up and over to the right side, bringing it to rest on the floor with the palm facing up as you twist the chest open towards the sky. Your shoulders should be grounded flat to the mat. Your arms open to a T, creating one line from wrist to wrist. Turn your head towards the right, gazing back over the shoulder towards your right hand. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. Relax your hips. Then inhale and bring everything back to center, coming back to wind relieving pose. Keep your legs squeezed together and mildly point the toes. Exhale, inhale and bring your hands up to hold your knees. Exhale, relax back and hug your knees in towards your chest. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Supine twist, other side. Exhale and roll to the right side. The outside of your right leg should be resting on the mat. Your hips, knees, and feet stacked over each other and your legs in an L shape at about a 90 degree angle. You can either point or flex your feet. Extend your right arm out to the side, straight out in front of you with the palm facing up. And stack your left arm directly over your right with the palm facing down. Gaze straight ahead towards the side of the mat. Then inhale and sweep the left arm up and over to the left side bringing it to rest on the floor with the palm facing up as you twist your chest open towards the sky. Your shoulders should be grounded flat to the mat and your arms open to a T, creating one line from wrist to wrist. Turn your head towards the left, gazing back over the shoulder towards your left hand. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. Relax your hips. Then inhale and bring everything back to center, coming back to wind relieving pose. Keep your legs squeezed together and mildly point the toes. Exhale. Inhale and bring your hands up to hold your knees. Exhale, relax back and hug your knees in towards your chest. Gaze up towards the ceiling. And finally, take a deep breath in and then release everything down into corpse pose. Shavasana, lying on your back with your eyes closed. Let your feet fall open to the sides, slightly more than hip width apart. Let your arms rest by your sides, slightly away from the body, with the palms face up and open. Relax your fingers. Relax your feet. Breathe deeply. Gently reach out through the fingertips, sliding the hands an inch or two towards your feet and pulling the shoulders down away from the ears. Then slightly tuck your chin to lengthen the back of the neck. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders.
just rest here for a few moments, taking slow, deep breaths. Feel your whole body relaxing. Feel it melting into the floor with each exhale. Oh my God. Now bring your awareness to your breath. Begin to observe your breath as you inhale, then exhale. Just observe the breath without trying to control it. Feel the sensations of breathing in your body. Let your attention focus on wherever you feel your breath most noticeably. If you feel your mind starting to wonder, know that this is normal. Just notice that this is happening. Acknowledge the thoughts and then let them go. Then bring your awareness back to your breath.
begin to bring your awareness back to your surroundings. Inhale and open your eyes. Open and close your eyes three times slowly. Awaken. This concludes the practice. I wish you peace contentment, and bliss. Om Shanti, Santosha, Ananda. Mm -hmm.